All right, guys, I'm going to do a quick rigging video because I do have some new baits coming out and I get questions about rigging baits and stuff. And there are some changes to some of the newer baits. So, uh, mostly we're going to be talking about the new six inch burrito shad line through and the shiner. Um, they both come with the burrito shad, comes with the bronze size 2 VMC and then the Shiner comes with a size 2 odd uh, perma steel. So I'm going to show you how to rig these on there. Now I'm going to take just a regular, this is a burrito gill, these haven't changed. Uh, the way you rig this, right, is if you look at this hook, there's a flat side, see how it sits flat and that sticks up. You take two of these points and bend them in so that you have this kind of deal going on this will sit on top of the bait and you drive those points into the bumps on top of that after I got some line in my pocket probably should have showed you that part run your line through the nose of the bait out the top tie your hook on with your preferred knot. I like a Palomar for this. And then put those hook bumps in the, you know, put the hook in the bumps and that'll hold it on there. Now, you could also, if you want to, you can straighten one of these points out and I'll show you that when we go to rig the shiner. You can straighten one of these points out and peg the hook like that. If you want two points up like that, you can do that as well. Um, What's different about the new 6 inch burrito shad is that these hook bumps are a little shallower on the bait. I don't know if you can see that compared to the gill. They don't stick up quite, they're not as deep. The reason I did that is because I'm trying something new out with this one. You can actually take this hook and just snap it on to those hook bumps. You don't actually have to penetrate the bait on this on this version. Um, so I've been fishing it like that with a lot of success. If you want, you can smash the barbs down on the hook so it doesn't tear up the bait as much. Or you can put like heat shrink tubing over the the two bottom hooks so it doesn't tear the bait up as much. But just for general fishing, that's been working really good for me. Um, but then again, you know, if you're skipping this bait, you know, because it's boom, 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 bait smacking the water and stuff. If you're fishing like really heavy cover or you're skipping and things like that, you can still, you know, jab those points into the, the bumps the same as before. It's just they're not as deep, so now you don't have to do that. You can actually snap it on there and it stays pretty good, especially if you're crawling bottom or something like that that would be the way I would go because it'll kind of help keep the bait from getting tore up as much. So that's the new six inch. It, the bumps are just a little different so you have a couple of different ways you can rig it. Um, the Shiner is the other new bait. Comes with this two odd um, perma steel uh, hook. The way I rig this is I actually bury that hook in the bait. So I'll show you how I do that. I just take the same deal as with the line through. You want this to be flat, but instead of pulling these two points in, we're going to straighten this one out. So what I do is just take a pair of pliers and I mash that hook like that. Right? mash the barb down, straighten the hook out, and then I just kind of bend it in a little bit. Like that. Hopefully that comes through well. So, same deal. You just run your line through there. Right? I'm actually going to tie it on this time. I'm just going to do a quick knot here. Just a square knot or something. A little quick uni knot tied my hook on, right, trim the excess off, 
I usually leave like a tag end that's like maybe an inch, inch and a half. And then I actually tuck that into the body of the bait so that there's no tag end hanging down at all. And then with this bait, you just kind of line it up, poke it in, and there you go. That bait's rigged up. Now if you want to, um, you don't have to tuck the bait in there, or the hook in there. You can actually put a, tie a split ring on here, put a split ring to your hook, and have the, the hook swing and dangle. I would use a split ring if you do that, just because you can see how the line pinches it up against the bait and it doesn't swing freely. But if you want to run that hook on the bottom free, you can uh, just put a split ring and do that also. Uh, or, I've even played with frog hooks. You can take a frog hook on the bottom, put a piece of wire on there, wrap it around with a, with a piece of string, and you can peg a frog hook up under there. There's a lot of things you can do, but that's just kind of how I do it, is I usually take this, tuck it in, tuck my tag in there, boom, and that's it. So that's how you rig that new bait. So, hopefully that was helpful to some people. Uh, that's basic rigging. Um, this is the new jig hook shad. I'll show you this also. Just the same as all my other jig hook baits, uh, I work hard to make sure this line tie comes out of the nose of the bait instead of on top of the head. There's no lip or anything hanging out underneath the bait. And the reason I do that is because I don't want it catching crap, grass and stuff. I don't like that. So from the line tie to the bottom of the bait is smooth. There's a smooth transition there. There's no 90 degree nose that's gonna catch a bunch of crap or anything like that. So what that allows me to do is actually rig a stinger on there. So I rigged a stinger on the nose of the bait and I can put it to the top of the bait like this or I can rig that same stinger onto the bottom of the bait. You know, if I had a treble hook on there because there is no weird, awkward lip or nose hanging off the bait from the line tie. It's a smooth transition either way on the bait. So you can rig stingers on this bait anywhere you want and anchor them to the nose. That's the way that's designed. So anyway, that's the new uh, Jig Hook 7.5. It's pretty much the same as the 6 inch. It's just a bigger version. So that's that. So hopefully that was helpful.